our justice system. It's a game changer. It solves crimes. The state is looking to Tippecanoe County to learn how to expand high-tech crime units across the state. Prosecutor Patrick Harrington testified at the State House on behalf of the new legislation. House Bill 1082 uh, authorizes up to 10 regional high-tech crime units. I'm very proud that um, our prosecutor's office is the first in Indiana to have a prosecutor-run high-tech crime unit. The plan is to link these units close to universities throughout the state so students can get hands-on experience. And it gets law enforcement officers currently serving on the units back to their regular duties. This model is a win-win for both uh, law enforcement, prosecutors, and uh, education system. Sheriff Bob Goldsmith says it helps in a wide range of crimes. Homicides, um, burglaries, um, you, uh, child molestation cases, something I'd encourage every community to have. From cell phones to laptops to building security cameras, even police body cameras. People on the units are trained to take devices and process them for evidence in a crime. Evidence such as GPS location, texts, app usage, voicemails, and phone calls. We've solved murders with no witnesses. Uh, we've solved murders with no weapon recovered. It shows who did the crime, but just as important, it exonerates people. Harrington says this bill will create a more fair justice system. To seek the truth, obtain the evidence, to be transparent to the public, and be able to show what our decisions are based upon. Anna Darling, News 18. The bill would create